anyways, let's go to our next thing. This is going to be a, a, a quick little segment. Cooking. I've gotten very big into cooking. I really enjoy it. It's very fun. Not so much baking, but firing up the grill, cooking a steak, um, cooking some chicken, cooking some potatoes, whatever it is, you know, that kind of cooking I really like. And this is something that I thought I would share with the world. Obviously, I didn't come up with this concept, but this is a quesadilla burger recipe. I saw a couple of videos of this on TikTok and kind of wanted to to talk about this as a potential form of, I mean, if you want to cut out some calories and you want to save some weight or, or lose some weight, I should say, or even if you want to gain some weight, you can adjust a very easy recipe. So... You got to gather the ingredients. These are the ingredients used by this particular website. So they say the first step is to make a list and head to the grocery store. You'll need ground beef, salt, mayonnaise, chipotle's in adobo, lime juice, butter, tortillas, Kobe Jack cheese, pico de gallo, and shredded lettuce. Now, that's all right. I mean, if you want to use all that stuff, perfect. Especially if you want to put on some weight and you want to up the calories a little bit. Having that cheese in there will definitely help if it's not fat-free. If you have full-fat cheese or whole milk cheese, that's a good way to add on extra weight and increase the amount of calories. And then uh, lettuce and the uh, chipotles and adobo and the pico de gallo, those all will be beneficial if you're trying to cut out weight because one of the great things about lettuce is it's not very calorically dense yet it has a lot of volume so if you eat a lot of it your stomach is still full but there's not that same caloric content in it as say if you filled your stomach up with cheese like i mentioned earlier so i think lettuce is is pretty much always good to have once again if you're on a bulk you probably don't really need it because it's not going to add that many calories and it's going to make you more full and if you're trying to eat more then it's probably not a good idea but if you're trying to lose weight and you're not trying to eat as much having lettuce in there is one of the most crucial things that you can do because it can keep you full because it fills that stomach up like i said but my recipe is pretty much when i'm when i'm bulking and i'm trying to i'm trying to put on a little bit weight right now i don't know if i want to get up to 200 pounds um, I, I cut down to about 163, 162 when I went to uh, Portugal. And then since I've been back, I've gone back up to, I might be 168, close to 170 now. And I've I've definitely been having a lot more snacks and a lot more um, like donuts and, and, and stuff like that. But I have also still been eating my, my mostly the same meals but just having a little extra snacks and getting a little extra protein in whenever I can. Not tracking though, probably should be doing that. But anyways, back to this. If you are going to bulk, for example, I go to Costco and they have uh, tortillas. I mean, you just get eight inch tortillas, 10 inch. It doesn't really matter the, the size per se. Um, but I usually get the carb balance ones because those are about 70 or 80 calories per each tortilla as opposed to the regular ones, which are twice that amount. And um, it's that's mostly carbs, but there is a lot of fiber in those and those do help me stay full for a while because of that fiber. So what I'll do is I'll just take the um, ground beef and I'll cook that and you can kind of see they make the patties. You cook it pretty much as a patty, as a hamburger in itself. And then you can kind of put it on right there. You can kind of see from the picture. Now, what I usually do is I just go st strictly with um, the tortilla. And then I put the burger on top. And then if I want to, I'll add cheese. Like right now, for example, I'm I'm adding full fat cheese. 
I'm trying to I'm trying to pack on the calories. But if I were to try and cut, I would not add any cheese at all, and I would just use um, either lettuce or say maybe uh, just add condiments like ketchup and mustard. But do that, add your toppings to the burger, and you can see this whole time you're only cooking the tortilla on one side, right? And then you can, yeah, do that to the same. Now, it might be good in terms of sticking the actual burger to the tortilla to have it on top of that cheese so that that cheese can melt a little bit and kind of bind to the meat itself. But you can see right here, you're just making one side of the burger. So you put one on top of the other, and then you kind of get it going together. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Fifteen minutes, too. That is a lot of ingredients. Carefully remove the burger. All right. I think we kind of get the idea. The idea. Anyways, cool recipe. Make sure you guys check it out. I, I, I have tried it in the past, and it is pretty good. Now, they're using what appears to be the smaller ones. I like to use the big ones and kind of make just one giant one and have that and you can kind of cut it up into little pieces and make almost a pizza but if you want to use smaller ones like small like six inch uh corn tortillas you can use those as well 